Here we are approaching the Karanji battery energy storage system, a 185 megawatt, 370 megawatt hour system, just outside Karang, Victoria. This project is one of the first in a long line of grid forming battery storage projects that will unlock more renewables for the national electricity market. There's an abundance of, of clean energy in the area, solar especially but the transmission network in the area faces operational challenges as a result of low system strength, which is limiting the amount of renewables that can connect to the existing infrastructure. System strength is the measure of the grid's resilience, so its ability to resist changes to the network as a result of a disturbance, such as a fault or a sudden change of power on the network. Up until now, grid operators have relied on system strength to come from traditional generators such as coal and gas turbines. And these turbines provide this service through their physical characteristics of rotating mass and magnetic fields, resist changes in the voltage and keep the network stable. Weak grids can struggle to stay stable, making it harder to connect renewable generators that rely on a steady voltage. Tesla's Megapack uses grid-forming inverters, which generate their own voltage signal, allowing them to operate independently of the voltage on the network. This strong voltage signal restores and maintains grid stability, which supports the connection of more renewable energy into that part of the network. This is what makes the AMO agreement really exciting because it's a shift towards leveraging innovative technologies such as grid forming inverters for the provision of system strength. So this really is a step change in the confidence in this technology and supporting the grid, particularly as we transition to 100% renewable energy.